Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams. In this video, we're taking a look at Bootstrap 5 cards. I'm gonna make these responsive as well. So no matter what browser you're on, whether it be the desktop, tablet, or down to the mobile size, all the cards look absolutely fantastic. And we're starting right now. All right, to get started, I'm gonna use the template that is already provided to me in Bootstrap 5. I'm gonna scroll down to the docs, and I'm gonna copy over the starter template, which I have right here. Whenever I work in Bootstrap, I wanna make sure that I have a container in place. So I'm gonna say div class container. This makes everything responsive. What mean by responsive? The container has breakpoints. So what happens is, note how this piece of content is away from hello world. When I move my browser, notice how it moves based upon specific breakpoints. And in Bootstrap 5, the H1 decreases in size based upon the browser width. Pretty cool. But more importantly, I want to make sure I can move things first before I bring in the cards. I'm going to build a three column design here. So after the container we know is working, I'm going to build a three column column design with my forms. I'll say div class row. And after that, I'm going to say div class equals, I'm going to say call dash four. If you think about it in bootstrap, there is a 12 column design and 12 divided by four equals three or three columns. I'm going to say test for column one and copy and paste and copy and paste. Awesome. The reason why I do this is that when I start to design a website, especially with cards, I design biggest to smallest and also the cards fit within the parent. So I want to make sure I create a space for the card before I bring it in. Now that I have these three columns in here, I'm going to actually go in and design the card. What I'm going to say inside the word test is the word, I keep putting that, let me do div. There we go. Div class card is going to be the first card at the very top. And I'm going to put a picture in at the very top of this card. So I'm going to say image source. And I've got three pictures already in there. So I'm going to grab the Europe picture. Alt. And I will say a street in Europe. Now the class that I have to use for the picture is going to be card dash img dash top. That's going to round out our card design for our picture to fit in. After that, I'm going to close the picture up. And then what I'll do is I'm going to add a card body below the picture. So I'll say div class equals card body. And they recommend using an H5. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll say H5 class equals card title. And I'm going to repeat the same alt information. So I'm going to say a street in Europe, E-U-R-O-P-E. -E. And what I'll do is I'm going to grab some lorem ipsum off to the side of my page. So I'm going to bring some text into this design. I'll say H, or actually let's go to P, not the H. Paragraph class equals card text. When I drop this in, what we'll get if I save this and refresh this is a street in Europe. Notice how it puts a light gray line around the edge of the page and the picture is then a little bit curved on the edges on the top left and the top right. Now that we have one of them in here, let's put a second one in. We have the card already built. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the card come down here and change the picture up. Depending upon how it pasted it, may or may not, yep, it looks pretty good there. So in the images, I'm gonna change from Europe, and I'm gonna say London, and I'll say London, and we'll change from a street in Europe to London, and we'll keep the lorem ipsum dummy type as well. Paste it in, looks pretty good. Now also note these pictures are the same ratio in size. And what I mean by ratio is if I go back to these files, so if I come down to the folder with these images and I use the spacebar on my Mac, you'll notice how each picture is the same exact size. 
Now that not only equates to the size, but ratio. So if I go into Photoshop and I open this up, if you'll notice, if I hit C for crop, I can set a ratio of size. So I'm making sure that my ratio is two by three or four by six. That way every picture we actually go into this project will be the same width and same height respectively so they match side by side. Now that I have two cards, now let's take on the third card. So I'm gonna copy and paste this card right here and I'll come down to call four and I'll change London and we'll drop in New York. Alt, New York, and London changes to New York. Let's drop it in, refresh, looks pretty good. There's a couple things that don't look perfect, and this is not so much the cards, but the columns and the grid around it. Because again, the card just conforms to its parent, or in this case, is the three columns. Reason I have a problem is when I move this to the mobile size, so if I grab my browser, it gets really, really, really crowded here. And so I have to fix this. Now in Bootstrap 5, it's mobile first. So what I have to do is I'm gonna change my columns to not call four, because that's mobile call four. I'm gonna say call 12. I'm gonna say call medium six. Six divided by 12, 50% and then I'll do call LG four. So the call 12 is one column or 12 divided by 12. If I copy these three right down here and get the class, paste it in, get the class call four, watch what happens. I'm gonna refresh the page and all of a sudden the card went to one column. As you scroll on the page, we're gonna fix this in one second. We have London and the text. And if I go across, when I hit the medium size, we have it now as 50%, 50%, and 50%. When I go to large, it then kicks it back to the three column for optimum readability. Now I said before, when I go back to that mobile size, there's no space between it. So I wanna add a gutter in between these cards. So if I come up to the top of the row, I'm gonna say G for gutter and three, which is essentially doubling the size. Refresh the page and now I get this really clean gutter in between the cards. So the cards just move around based upon the grid, the column and the rows per the container. If you want more information how Bootstrap 5 works in regards to the container, rows, columns, and everything else that works within Bootstrap 5, check out this playlist and a few videos that I have here. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.